I see breastfeeding as a superpower, of course. You know, people say my superpower is that I make milk. What's your superpower? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Puseleto and today I want to talk about my breastfeeding journey. The reason I thought I should talk about it is because all three of my breastfeeding journeys were so different and with each of them I experienced different things and it was just fun and weird but in the end it's turned out okay. So now with baby number three I am enjoying breastfeeding and it's going well so far. I want to take you through the journey from the first baby. So my first child is now nine years old. That means I was around, I was 20 years old when I had her and so it was of course very difficult and strange for me to have to breastfeed but when I had her I breastfed her for a very short time about two weeks because I did have to go back to school I was living in varsity so I had to just make sure I go back to my studies so breastfeeding her took me yeah like I said two weeks or three somewhere there and obviously the first thing was just getting her to latch and get the milk out so that was very different something I wasn't used to but we did it luckily where I gave birth there was I think actually it's done everywhere there was a breastfeeding specialist the lady's job is just to work with the new moms and to help them and teach them about breastfeeding and how to help the baby be able to latch so that was okay but then we went back home by the time I got home I was okay-ish and just fine about the breastfeeding thing but just planning for her I already knew that I wasn't going to breastfeed her exclusively so there was formula for her at home because I had to get her to adjust to having both formula and breast milk because I knew I'd have to leave so the thing I did not expect with her being the first time breastfeeding was how hard my boobs were going to be I mean my breasts just filled up they filled up so bad so bad I cried I literally cried I couldn't believe it I was just I was not I was not happy I cried tears and I remember having to sleep with like a towel because I was just leaking I was just leaking all night and my grandmother had told me not to express the milk because um, if I express the milk then it would continue to make more milk so I remember my grandmother telling me that I need to just let it let it be just leave it because eventually I'm gonna have to stop breastfeeding her so my breasts need to get used to knowing that like it's not making a lot of milk so I cried tears but I made it through and I breastfed her for that short time and I had to leave her. So that was my short breastfeeding journey with her. Just two or three weeks and that was it. And then with baby number two, what I did was as well because I was going to be working. I knew I had to make sure I keep him on formula and breast. I did want him to get some of the breast milk but I had to also know that it's important for me to go back to work so I can't really stay home and feed him as regularly as I want to so with him he spent a couple of days in ICU after he was born because he was underweight at birth because he was premature so during that those days when he was in hospital my breasts just weren't producing enough milk so he was then put on a formula but because of the low supply of the milk my his nurses did advise me to drink stony I was told to drink stony like apparently stony uh, helps to produce more milk <clears throat> so I did I like always drank stony I drink probably a two liter every day it was crazy but it was helping me I did start to see a change and I did start to see that my breasts were making more milk so I, I suppose it worked for that time and then when he got back home I continued to breastfeed him but at the same time I also would give him formula definitely at night I, I wasn't I wasn't gonna stress myself or worry myself that I'm not making enough milk for him 
so I just had to make sure that obviously he gets the food that he needs to get and with him I fed for about I continued to breastfeed him for about seven months and the reason I stopped breastfeeding him was because he would bite me he started um, teething around then and I it was so painful I just couldn't I had to stop he he, he you know he pulled like and he go <laughs> almost as if he's like doing it on purpose it was just too painful so I decided mm -mm, I'm stopping but the other reason was that I was eating a lot guys I was eating so much I ate more after giving birth than when I was pregnant I literally didn't gain any weight with him when I was pregnant but from breastfeeding I just I couldn't stop eating. I was hungry in the middle of the night. I was always hungry and I was just always eating. So I gained a lot of weight and I thought if I continue doing this, it's just not gonna work. Because of those two reasons, I decided to stop breastfeeding him and then he was only on formula. And now, currently my son is almost nine months and with him it's really been a smooth ride. I remember <laughs> Um, even when I gave birth and I was feeding him, the nurse came and was like, Oh, you're a pro. Clearly I don't have to teach you anything. I felt like I could do this. I did it. And I breastfed him exclusively for six months. I would obviously pump some milk. In the first two or three weeks, I did the whole power pumping. I pumped a lot of milk, which I kept in the deep freezer. I also breastfed him and I was just shooting like pew. <laughs> my milk was just always like just always shooting I had so much milk but what I didn't remember from like the first two um, breastfeeding journeys with this time around was that my nipples are gonna be tender in the first week my nipples were so tender so painful and I wanted to stop I didn't want to feed him I just I was like oh I don't want to wear a bra and again they filled up so much like you could see the veins and they were hard hard and I was kind of upset because before giving birth while I was pregnant I was struggling to sleep and now again I was struggling to sleep because they were so big and hard and I was struggling to sleep on my stomach as well which is something I was looking forward to so much after giving birth but I couldn't do it because as soon as I slept flat like on my stomach my boobs were like they just got so painful because they were always hard I'd wake up in the middle of the night to express this time I wasn't afraid to express because I knew I wanted to feed for long so I was just always pumping 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 expressing and can I tell you guys till today I don't have a breast pump I pump with my hands and I can fill up like a 240 ml bottle in no time <laughs> I'm so blessed with a lot of milk so when he turned six months I decided to take him to crash and in that week I don't know what happened but my milk supply did go low so at that time I then decided to buy formula to supplement because even though I was pumping I was struggling to pump enough I just wasn't pumping enough for him for the entire day and in that week I just I don't know I just made sure I start eating better and started doing different things I will do a video on tips to increase your milk supply I still make sure I always have formula but I don't need it I don't I actually don't need it I'm making a lot of milk and I'm happy with the way I'm producing milk so that's it that's my breastfeeding journey I'm still breastfeeding I don't know how long I'll go I don't want to make any promises or <laughs> yeah make a decision now but I'm going to continue breastfeeding for as long as I can I'm really enjoying it it's just that I do want to stop breastfeeding him at night because he just wants to be on the boob all night so it, it's not working because at some point he's gonna have to sleep with somebody else and I don't want other people struggling because he's now used to the boob so yeah that's it that's my breastfeeding journey but like just a side note you know I did wish that my my breastfeeding journeys helped me lose weight I, I really did for some reason when I breastfeed I eat a lot and I gain a lot of weight and I look at these people who just like drop so much weight from breastfeeding and I'm just like how I see breastfeeding as a superpower of course 
you know, people say my superpower is that I make milk. What's your superpower? <laughs> I see breastfeeding as magic. I see breastfeeding as supernatural, as superpower. I see breastfeeding as incredible, something that's God's gift, God's gift to human nature. I mean, just the thought that all my child lived from for six months was my breast milk. That's it. And he grew like a normal child. He he started sitting, his bones were strong. He started doing all these things just from breast milk. So I see it as power, greatness. If anybody is able to breastfeed, I do, I do totally recommend it. Do it. And if you're not able to breastfeed, also don't stress it. Don't feel less of a mother or beat yourself up about it. If it's not meant to be for you, it's not meant to be and that's okay. I also see it a lot like, you know, mothers giving birth via natural birth or c-section. It's all valid. You're still a mother and that's great. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye!